Good evening, everyone. My name is Simran Chaudhary, and I welcome you all on behalf of Voice of Healthcare to our fourth edition of Not Just a Doc, honoring hope in healing, recognizing the caregivers to celebrate National Doctors' Day. And to celebrate this day today, we have with us Dr. R. V. S. Bhalla, Director and Head in of Internal Medicine, Sarvodaya Healthcare, Faridabad. Welcome to our show, sir. Thank you very much. and congratulations on national doctors day sir thanks a lot once again thank you sir so this year we are celebrating the fourth edition of not just a doc which is an uh, extraordinary celebration dedicated to showcasing the remarkable efforts of our doctors and expressing our heartfelt appreciation for their effortless service so and with this campaign we aim to celebrate the doctors beyond their profession yes we know doctors uh, give their time their their uh, being selflessly there for present for their patients but we want to know more about uh, the person who he is beyond their profession so we want to highlight and celebrate that's why the campaign name is not just a doc So that's a great idea, I think. And Thank congratulations you, in the fourth uh, episode of this campaign. Thank you so much, sir. So uh, I would like to know what inspired you to pursue a career in medicine, and how do you balance your professional and personal life? Well, uh, there's no one such event which really inspired me uh, to take up a career in medicine, and uh, somehow I always wanted to be a doctor. and i believe in school probably uh, our bio teacher was very encouraging and she thought that maybe i would do well so definitely all marks to her she did uh, encourage me in the field of biology and uh, although it is a very weird kind of thing but i did perform in a play in which i became a doctor and somehow everyone appreciated my role in the play and so much so that it became a part of my life finally that's a very interesting story so <laughs> it's interesting yeah so and how do you balance your professional commitment and personal commitments well i have a really unbalanced kind of uh, life is very difficult to balance professional and personal and uh, by and large you know uh, personal takes the back seat and uh, it is a professional life which really uh, goes on but then sometimes i do find a little bit of time to spend with myself or with my family members or with my pets so that's how i balance out so actually the uh, your profession is quite demanding because the time uh, any any time you can get the calls although the working hours are too much and and if it's an emergency then uh, you can't say that you will have that time for yourself right yeah so uh, also after like like we just talking about how uh, tiring sometimes it could be and the long working hours uh, like doctors have to be there with the patients in hospital or in case of emergency so there it becomes a very stressful long working day for you so how do you unwind after a stressful and long day at work and what do you enjoy the most about your downtime downtime activities yeah i like listening to music uh, i have two pet dogs so when i go home i can play with them and then uh, many a time i see a movie on tv and uh, sometimes i read a book so mainly it is uh, my pets movie and family they uh, give me a you know relief from the day to day work so any any particular movie book which you have seen or read you feel that has made an impact or or any incident from that that you liked or still remember that uh, not really you know uh, of course uh, i did see some shows uh, which were related to medicine and you know and uh, uh, there's one uh, which goes on netflix by the name of the good doctor it's rather interesting and uh, then uh, that did have some impact definitely uh, on me but uh, by and large uh, most of the movies i see are you know uh, either uh, mystery or suspense <laughs> uh, 
uh, they are more of a relaxing nature rather than inspiring. I do see a lot of historical movies, and uh, they do inspire a lot, especially the movies in which you know you find uh, someone who uh, is struggling to you know uh, become somebody or something and you know, overcomes all odds. And uh, there are many such movies there. Yes, sir. I, I I also agree that movies or uh, this the movies which are based on history, they are telling you a story which just happened back and telling you some facts, figures, and and the incidents which happened back then. That that motivates you somehow because the stories are always real, and yeah. suspense, full movie pushes you. You know, uh, you get more intrigued into it. Okay, what's coming up next? And that that's that's the holding part of those genres. So moving on, I would like to know who or what outside of your medical field has been a significant influence in your life, and how has this influenced your career as well? See, um, yeah, I do have strong religious beliefs, and you know, uh, our religion does have a lot of uh, you know inspiration for anyone who wants to do you know good things in life. Or, uh, I think spiritually it is very important to be spiritually strong and morally, you know, uh, uh, have a healthy kind of moral fiber, a strong one, uh, to resist the daily uh, temptation one which one does face or may face or are, you know, and people try to force you to go on the wrong path. So uh, I think it is very important and. Uh, uh, rational belief always helps one to you know go beyond what one can achieve you know uh, if you have a good strong faith you feel somehow empowered that maybe you can do uh, things in a better way in a more humane way so that is something which has really helped me agree sir because there is something in in our life which which holds us which keeps us grounded so yeah. that is very important and spiritual books or spiritually being connected is the best way uh, a person can be you know it's, it's it's down to earth whether they are into a very high level of profession time consuming or they are just at just a family member or, 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 or a housemaker so in in every field it helps us Definitely. And so, while interacting with your patients, what do you enjoy the most on personal level, and how does this enhance your medical practice as well? Well, see, by nature, I am an introspective kind of person. You know, uh, I don't bond too much with uh, most of the people, even though I may interact with a lot of them. And the only people I really bind with is my patients, or uh, rather, bond with. Um, and somehow I feel, you know, uh, uh, telling them some kind of a joke or making them smile or, you know, uh, being a good cheer to them, even though at the cost of myself or somebody else, uh, you know, who bears the brunt of the joke, maybe at times, or, you know, uh, they themselves could be the brunt. I and mean, like you can see the uplifting of the spirits the moment, you know, you try to lighten the. I mean, because everyone is uh, very anxious, tense uh, when uh, you are ill and you. You always tend to imagine the worst and even the slightest of things uh, worries you to death uh, rather in a, in a kind of uh, not, uh, not intended. So, um, uh, I mean, it uh, it is very inspiring to see, you know, uh, you're being able to change the entire mood of the person by just one or two sentences or even a word or so. So that is very uplifting, I think, and a, a great moment for both of us, uh, patient and doctor. Together. And I feel uh, that is the one time when I feel really happy that I have achieved something. And so that that would that would also uh, help you to make that uh, doctor-patient relation, that connection, and to build that trust as well. Yes, it does help a lot to build the trust. And uh, many a times the patients remember uh, these things. I may forget. You know, many years later, someone meets me and they say, "Okay, oh, you." you me in so many years and by the time I am totally blank I am staring at the patient's face and you know trying to 
recollect who was uh, this person and what did I do for him to tell the entire story sometimes. I can remember. Sometimes even after they recount the entire story, it becomes very difficult to place them. Unless there are some patients who have been through a, hell of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, trouble and you know, really gotten out of a very uh, tight spot kind of situation. So those patients you do tend to them. But uh, many patients remember you, so it's that is that is a great way sir if if a patient remembers that interaction with the doctor and specifically few points the way they interact or or a particular topic or the conversation you guys had that's amazing that means you have really made an impact to their life or to the person probably so but sir it was a great conversation and uh, you just explained every question or my every thought so beautifully so simply and thank you so much for taking out time out of your busy schedule i know uh the calls the patients you were you just kept uh, or, or you you know uh took out some time out of the uh, after of that but thanks a lot for coming to our show and congratulations again on national doctors day thanks a lot thank you very much for taking your time thank, thank you so much